Let's talk about different types of numbers. There are different types of real numbers. Rational numbers and irrational numbers. And the way this chart is designed, it helps you to understand the relationships between these types and some other types. Let's talk about the rational numbers first. Rational numbers, these are any numbers that you can write in the form of a divided by b, where a and b are integers, and b is not equal to zero. Let's talk about one type of rational number, the integers. These are numbers that are not decimals. For example, the number negative 5, negative 1, 0, 9, 14, those are all examples of integers. There are no decimals here or fractions. There are a couple different types of integers, whole numbers and negative integers. So whole numbers, these are numbers that are from 0 or greater, but they do not include decimals or fractions. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on are whole numbers. The negative integers are integers less than 0. For example, negative 1, negative 2, negative 15. Now notice the way this chart is designed, that the whole numbers here and the negative integers are both types of integers because they're shown here beneath the integer box. Now let's keep going. Let's look at different types of whole numbers. There are two different types of whole numbers the natural numbers, and zero. The natural numbers are positive integers. Zero is not included, though. That's the difference between whole numbers and natural numbers. Natural numbers, that set of numbers does not include zero. So it starts with one, then two, three, four, and so on. And I drew the graph here so that zero has its, its own category. So zero and the natural numbers together are the whole numbers which are 0 and the integers greater than 0. The whole numbers and the negative integers together are all the different types of integers. And the integers are considered rational numbers, and rational numbers are considered real numbers. So for example, the number 3. The number 3 is a natural number. It's also a whole number, it's also an integer, it's a rational number, and it's a real number. So we've talked about how integers are one type of rational number, but there's another type of rational number. Decimals that either terminate or repeat a pattern forever are also rational numbers, even though they're not integers. Let's talk about what it means to have a terminating decimal. A terminating decimal is a decimal that stops. For example, right here, 1.5, if it stops after the 5, it's terminating. It's terminated after the 5. And it is considered a rational number. Not an integer, but a rational number. Sometimes the decimal may, may go on for a while, like 4.24685, and then it stops. So again, that's a terminating decimal. Some decimals never stop, but they repeat a pattern. And if this happens, it's also considered a rational number. For example, here's the number 5.3 repeating. The 3 just keeps repeating over and over again forever. Here's another example, 9.145, 145, 145. Notice the 145 just keeps repeating. So it's considered a repeating decimal and a rational number. Now, there's a type of number that is considered to be irrational. Here we have this whole category. These numbers are not rational, they're irrational. They are considered real numbers. The irrational numbers are decimals that never terminate and do not repeat a pattern. So if you see a number where you have a decimal that never ends, and the dot 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 here means this decimal never stops, but there's no pattern to the uh, decimals, the numbers are not repeating a pattern, then this is an irrational number. Um, one of the most famous irrational numbers is the number pi. Um, it's often um, written as 3.14, but that's really just an estimate. It actually goes on forever and never repeats a pattern. So pi is an irrational number. 
Some square roots are irrational as well. The square root of 2, for example, is 1.4142, and it continues from there. It never ends, and it never repeats a pattern. So the square root of 2 is an example of an irrational number. But not all square roots are irrational. For example, think of the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3, and 3 is an integer. So you have to be careful with the square roots. Some are irrational, and some are not. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say that we have the number 7. And we want to know which categories here 7 falls into. Well, starting at the bottom, 7 is a natural number. It's a positive integer. It's not 0. And here, let's make a note that 7 is a natural number. Seven is also a whole number. Whole numbers are numbers zero and greater that are integers. So it's also a whole number. It's also an integer. So we'll list integer. And it's a rational number. And it's also a real number. So you can see how the number 7 is natural, whole, integer, rational, and real. Um, let's take a look at another example. Let's do 4.34, where the 3 and the 4 repeat. So it's 4.34, 3434, and so on. Well, this falls under category of repeating decimals. It's also a rational number, and it's also real. So it's a repeating decimal. It's a rational number, and it's a real number. Now let's do another example. The square root of 7. Now if we take a calculator and we find the square root of 7, two point six four five seven five one three one one, and it continues. I, I know the calculator screen stops, but the actual value continues and it does not repeat a pattern. This falls under the category of being an irrational number. That's a decimal that does not terminate and does not repeat a pattern. So for square root of 7, we're going to write it's an irrational number. And also, it is a real number. Now here's another example, a fraction one-fourth. One-fourth is one divided by four. That equals 0.25. Well, 0.25, that is a terminating decimal. It stops. It's a terminating decimal. It's also a rational number. And it is a real number. So you can see the technique that I'm using here is to find where the number falls at the bottom of this chart and then work upward and I list all the different categories that apply to that number. Um, this also works for negative numbers. For example, 
do negative 9. Negative 9, that's not a natural number or a whole number, but it is an integer. It's also rational. And it's also real. So negative 9 is an integer, rational, and real. And I just noticed I should have also noted that if we start all the way down at the bottom here, it's a negative integer. So let me make a little note here. Negative integer as well. Now one more note about square roots. We saw before we did an example with the square root of 7. But what if someone gives you another example? For example, the square root of 16. Do not assume that square roots are always irrational, because the square root of 16, for example, is 4. And the number 4, that is a natural number. A whole number, an integer, a rational number, and it's also real. And that concludes this video.